Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders, that's you, that's in the world of digital infrastructure. And we are coming, I'm Dean Perrine, EVP, that's me, yes. uh, at JSA, and we are coming at you live. We are live right now, Meredith. That's exciting, that's right? Slightly frightening. <laughs> no, 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 it's like slightly <laughs> exciting is what Meredith meant to say. Um, we are coming at you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And as I said, this is my friend, Meredith Nakamura. Meredith is the account manager at Approved Networks, a brand of Legrand. Yes. We love them. Yes. Um, North, uh, uh, North and Central America. Meredith, we met a couple of times already on this trip, and it's been so much fun it's getting so to know fun. you. Yes, it's been fantastic from the moment I met you. I love it. I love it. So, Meredith, for our viewers that don't yes. already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Approved Networks? Okay. Uh, so, most people already know Legrand is an overall company that does everything for the data center space. Yes. Uh, we do retail and commercial. And uh, for Approved Networks in particular, we offered a unified solution for the IP over DWDM. Mm -hmm. So, um, everybody from in independent companies to data centers. We offer all of the solutions. We mostly par uh, partake in the active, but then for people who need more of a channel diversity, we also mm -hmm. offer the passive components as well. And why is that important to the data center? It's necessary for data transmission. <laughs> That's it. That's right. You don't have a data center if you can't move that data. So but what's interesting about this this convention is that you're meeting so many people and, and you're meeting them on the construction side. Yes. So they'll say like, well, when would we cross paths? And really we won't because they're starting at the construction side. Yes. And they're coming in and they're commissioning and they're building. And then once they're done and then the racks and the cabinets and all that go in, that's where we are. And then Approved Networks in particular is once you get to the blanky lights, once you get to actually transmitting the data, that's when we yeah. come in well past construction. So it's cool to see all the little niche components here working together. Meredith, so. I love this so much because um, the industry, it, it, you know, a decade ago, maybe a little bit more, it, <laughs> it, it, it used to feel it used to feel like everybody was was um, trying to compete. We were racing yes. to compete with one yes. another. And 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 what you're telling me, the example you just gave is quite literally a relay where yes. we're all in yes. the same race. Yes. We're racing. We're racing uh, the ad advances of technology yes. together. We're yes. handing batons, construction, yes. going going to you know uh, everything from lighting within the data center yes. to, to power and cooling in the interconnect from Lagrand yes. and DWDM, data transport, uh, transport it, all yes. of that kind of stuff. It's all just one specialized group of people handing a baton yes. to the next. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's just it's it's a, an assembly line where you you require all of the different components and they have to interact and uh, function together but they all have a very niche particular job function yes. to and ours yeah. is once you get to the trade uh, the data transmissions and you need to uh, do the, the data center interconnects and you need to transmit so that's we're well at the end of we're on the opposite side of construction but once you actually start going with the data that's where we fall in play and the thing is, is that when we're talking about sorry this is very exciting for me yeah, because okay, I, I don't I, I don't know I don't know that our viewers really really <laughs> Realize the um, the sheer number of components and pieces no. that have to come together to make no. any of it work. No, and and it, and it becomes increasingly critical yes. for those pieces when we talk about the advent of AI and machine yes. learning and those kinds of massive data loads. Yes, um, and how that works. And it's not just about it, it, you know the, the data being processed and analyzed within the box, but that data has to go somewhere. Yes. It has to get places. Yes. And that's where where you, where approved networks comes in. Absolutely. And what's what's absolutely essential is that they, they have to function together. So like while there's a great deal of cooling people here, um, and that's great, and there are power people here, yes. if you have to look at the power and the cooling and how it impacts the optics because they're off putting the, the heat. And then whether or not you go with, you know, a submersible uh, cooling component or another, you know, perhaps a, a different component, you have to look at the factor of the the output that the optic is putting out there. Yeah. And all those little pieces go together. And it doesn't seem like they all necessarily would coincide like that, but they really do. But and, they really do. And yeah. none of it happens if they don't. Correct. Everything from supply chain to getting the chip to the to the right box and yes. that box to the data center and that, you know, yes. and all all of those things have to work together yes. in this very orchestrated way yes. in order for anything to work. We also mm -hmm. um so obviously space, power, cooling, mm -hmm. all of these things have been big uh big themes at yes. the event. Yes. At, at at the event so far. But 
none of that stuff means anything if we can't move the data in the first yes! place. Yes, right? Yeah. So all those things are great, but you have to actually be able to transmit it yeah. across from one area to the next. And that's why we have, uh, that's why it's so important to have the, the DCI components and the telecom exchange, which yes. we provide. So yes, you can't, once you have the building and you have the racks and you have all the yeah. things, if you can't actually move the data from one side to the other, it means nothing. It so. means nothing. Yes. Meredith, you are the first of a kind uh, at PTC that I have interviewed um, so far where we have been able to say we've isolated this very unique and exceedingly critical piece yes. that nobody is really talking about right yeah. now. Everybody wants to talk about the the, the, the technology yes. um, and that's great. That's great. But that technology doesn't happen without you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And especially as people talk so much about AI there, you have to come back to the fact that in order to, for that to function, you have to have some way to convey the data from one point to another. So yeah. that's us. Yeah. So Meredith, I think we're wrapping up. That was, <laughs> we, we are <laughs> wrapping up. Thank you, Meredith. You want to host the show now? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah. No, it's great to meet you as well. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we will see you soon. Right, Meredith? Definitely. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you.